Hey, what's up everybody? This is Matt with Rocky's War Room. Uh, tonight I have for you another Let's Build video. And in this one we're going to put together the Boremite Heavy Frag Borer. Uh, this is actually the model that uh, really caught my eye with the Boremites. It really intrigued me. Uh, this is why I wanted to start collecting them. Here's a look at the box. It's got this big... <laughs> Big, huge borer, frag borer, um, has a little bit of fluff here, just talks about it. Um, the boar mites are amongst the most heavily mutated of all the human morphs in Antari space, with the skin that is thick and scaly, broad, powerful bodies, and the most almost, and, and, and an almost inhuman physical strength. <laughs> uh, yeah, so the boar mites are pretty cool. I really like them. Really enjoying putting together their kits too. This comes with a heavy frag bore, three bore my crew, a spotter probe, and one beyond the gates of Ventori's order dice, like we had with the uh, worker gangs. So let's crack it open, see what's inside. Obviously, I've taken the cellophane off, make that easier to build it. So we take the pieces out here. We get a big base, obviously, for the frag bore, the normal warlord. Bases here. Ooh, here's the order dice right there. Another base. <clears throat> Should be one more base, and there is. I'll just take the pieces out here. Come on, this shouldn't be that hard for me to grab it. There we go. This is the four bases. This is obviously the one of the guys here piece, a little flight stand. We have all different kinds of pieces and the guys here. Looks like we got a, a head here, a couple heads here. Because one guy already has a, a head. Looks like that's the probe right there. <clears throat> and the other side of the frag bore. Now I usually keep on keep hang on to the uh, the Warlord plastics and, and the sponges. Uh, because this but this this container here makes a really good holder for all the rest of the sponges. <laughs> Not only that, you can take this piece off here and use this as a palette for paint. It makes a good palette for paint, and this right here makes a good sponge holder. That way, all I got to do is hang it up on my pegboard, and I have sponges if I need them. Um, so it looks like, from the looks of it, get a close-up here. Looks like you got three guys. One of them you don't have to do anything but put it on a stand. Uh, these other two guys you got to put heads on. I'm assuming that's what these heads right here are for. Of course, I'll have to cut those off. So we'll put those together. We got a flight stand, which you just clip this piece off here. Oops, it went flying. That's okay. And you'll glue it on a base. So I'll put that separate over here. Uh, looks like we have a, a uh, flash there. This probably goes with the board can. This right here is obviously the uh, spotter drone. <clears throat> so we'll go ahead and separate that. And this is to kind of show you how I separate everything. Got a good pair of snips. I've had these snips forever. There we go. Put that with the this guy right here and obviously the rest of this is for the frag bore right here so what we're gonna do uh, I'm gonna show you some of the pieces as you can see there and it fits on right here right like that it fits inside that's got some weight to it boy that's hefty <clears throat> and looks like I'm gonna have to Cut off this piece of flash here, which is no big deal. And I we'll kind of want to line it up as best I can. Oh, it has tabs. Perfect. See how the tabs line up together to go in? That's the positioning right there. So that's how it goes on. Perfect. That looks like it lines up much better than the way I had it there. So when you're gluing it, make sure you line up these pieces in the back. Uh, perfectly so it doesn't look funny <clears throat> then you have the 
two sides that you glue on there to, to hold it up on top of the the ring I believe the ring goes this way we'll have to look didn't see any instructions in there but that's okay I can kind of look on the box here and see that the it goes up like this so we'll put it right there and then <clears throat> obviously we have to look for the spots where the things go oh here it is right here this is one spot and then the two things that hold it up are obviously going to fit into this right here in this track so I'm assuming if we look at this uh, piece here yep that's it okay so this piece right here as you can see the notch there and the notch there is going to go right here so that tells me that the <clears throat> sides here can be spun around in any fashion God, I wish I could magnetize it to where it could be moved in any direction. But it's obviously, I'm going to put it right here um, to where it's facing forward. And we'll just work it out um, as I build it. So, so there you go. Uh, here's another piece. This must go on the back right here. Fits in a nice slot. They give you slots to put it in. So it shows you the orientation of it. Excellent. So this goes right like that on the back. Perfect. Awesome. So we're going to go ahead and uh, build all this stuff and I will see you guys in a minute. Right, there you have it folks uh, I put together the bore might heavy frag bore and here it is it's pretty fragile at this moment uh, once the glue dries it'll be fine uh, just a few pitfalls a few mistakes that I made just to uh, give you guys a heads up um, this is pretty heavy 
uh, you want to make sure that this glue right here is completely dry, uh, almost to the point completely dry, before you start gluing on the uh, little pedestals here. They have a groove in them where they fit in the track perfectly, which is fine, but uh, um, you want to glue one on, wait for 20 minutes at least, with I used a CA glue to make this side cure just enough to where it'll hold the weight um, of the actual bore itself. Um, and then you want to glue this part here, this armature right here, to the ball itself. And then uh, when you when you put it in, kind of put it in an angle, put it in the track, adjust it with a knife or some sort of, uh, you could use a chopstick or, <laughs> or uh, a skewer, a wooden skewer. Get it balanced just right and leave it alone. Because I tried picking it up to show you guys um, and it fell apart on me. So... This part here is probably the toughest part of the model, and it's really no big deal. Um, I've dealt with this type of stuff a lot over the years, so um, I was able to uh, adapt and overcome. <laughs> uh, but make sure that at least one side is dry. Uh, don't make the same mistake I did. I, I waited about 10 minutes instead of 20. Uh, usually 20, it gets pretty hard with this connection over here. Uh, but all in all, it went together very well, and I'm really surprised with the uh, the weight of this borer on top that this these two legs are actually holding it up, because it's the inward and outward tension on the bottom here. So, <clears throat> uh, but uh, other than that, I'm pretty impressed. It looks great uh, already, even without paint. Um, and it came with the the three gentlemen. One of them already had their helmet on or their head helmet hel head on, which is this guy right here, the spotter, the guy who's on the phone looks like. Um, I had to glue the heads on these guys right here, which they're, that's fine. And I also, I always glue these. It's no big deal. I just put a piece of tape around here to make sure I don't get the, the clear base part. And then I'll prime it with a spray and then take the tape off after I'm done painting it. So, um, <clears throat> I always glue them on because if I don't glue them on, I lose them. They're so small. Uh, and they're got their order dice and they're ready for battle. Uh, well, ready for paint, I should say. Uh, <clears throat> so we're going to get that done and then, uh, we're going to test it out, see how it works, um, with the rest of the boromites, uh, see what heavy damage we can do with this sucker. So, uh, uh, once again, I'm very impressed with their kits, the looks of it, the detail and everything on there. And that's, you know, uh, it'll paint up real nice, real easy. Um, I just, I really like the, 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 the look of it, uh, in general. So, uh, that's it. That's all I got for you today. Um, if you haven't subscribed, please do. Please tell a friend. Spread the word. I'd appreciate it. Leave me some comments and tell me what you think of this kit or anything at all. I'd appreciate it. And last but not least, from me to you, ta-ta! See you in the next video.